respected external examiner dr s l chawla Professor Head, Dr. Ganga, Department of Floriculture Landscaping, Professors, Associate Professors and Assistant Professor of uh, Department of Floriculture and Landscaping, students of that department, very good afternoon to all. I'm very happy to welcome uh, Dr. Chawla and he was kind enough to uh, give you a guest lecture related uh, to his, uh, uh, that is, uh, to his, um, um area of interest that is on floriculture and i want to give some uh, uh, glimpses about his uh, biodata uh, dr s chawla uh, is presently serving as associate professor in the department of floriculture and landscape architecture asp college of horticulture nauzari agriculture university nauzari gujarat he completed msc and dig phd degree program in horticulture from uh, maharana pradap university of agriculture and technology udaipur rajasthan and he has served as in charge person head of the department for around two and a half years contributed significantly to diversify the teaching research and extension activities among them getting conceptualization planning and successful ex execution of certificate course in the turf grass management highly and uh, an acclaimed activity which is first of its kind in the country very nice uh, he is handling two research projects presently he has published more than 110 papers in national and international journals edited and compiled 21 books compendium manual reference manual etc authored and co-authored 29 papers in state national and international seminars symposia workshop winter and summer school and published uh, more than 65 popular on his popular art articles in his own language he has been credited to release 27 recommendations on floriculture for farmers of uh, south gujarat very nice to see this dr chawla is actively involved in pg teaching research and guiding he has guided nine MSc and nine PhD students in floriculture department, being an associate professor, completing guidance of uh, nine PhD students is a very great achievement and uh, contributions of uh, Dr. Chawla in the field of floriculture have been honored by the prestigious award of floriculture of country, Lotus uh, Puruskar for his significant contribution and commitment to research and development of ornamental horticulture. Then uh, he is fellow of ISOH, that is Indian Society of Horticulture Research and Development, Society for Horticulture Research and Development. Very nice. He has also been honored by Best Teacher Award 2017-18 of Nauzari Agriculture University, Nauzari, for his outstanding contributions in teaching. And uh, Indian Academy of Horticulture Sciences, New Delhi, also honored him by Dr. Manmohan Atawar Gold Medal in Floriculture, as well as Fellowship of Academy. All India Paramount Achiever of Award was uh, awarded to him by Society for Advancement of Human and Nature, uh, the uh, known as Solan Himachal Pradesh. He is also a member of eight scientific societies, Patron Society for Horticulture Research and Development, Joint Secretary, Indian Society of Ornamental Horticulture, Patron and Executive Counselor of Horticulture Society of Gujarat. With these credits, uh, he has uh, backed so many awards and many credits and technologies uh, and uh, he has released 27 recommendations. Uh, we are also, uh, dear students and uh, uh, staff, uh, we are also doing uh, many research and we are uh, producing many recommendations and technologies, but we are not publishing. Now only the uh, last year only we have started to publish the technology in floriculture and so far we have uh, released uh, two or three technologies, uh, I think so. So in future, you people uh, the, the try to develop uh, the release of technology that is very very important as like uh, we are uh, releasing many varieties from vegetables and flower crops and other uh, department spices also as like variety release you please concentrate on release of technologies also with these few words i welcome dr chawla to give your valuable uh, presentation on floriculture thank you sir thank you good morning to all of you first of all i am highly grateful of the great institute Tamil Nadu Agriculture University for inviting me here for examiner and giving me opportunity to deliver guest lecture on turf grass management. Most res respected Dr. Irene, Madam Dean Horticulture, Dr. Ganga, Madam, Dr. Kesar, Dr. T. Subesh Kumar, Dr. Chitra, Dr. Karthik, and 
other officers joining this lecture online and dear students. Uh, my topic, my lecture of my topic is Tough Grass Management and uh, next. And I will cover in this lecture important uses of tough grasses, then introduction to tough grasses. In the, about I will also uh, say about the Indian tough grass industry and uh, how to manage the tough grasses in tough grass management. Then what are the opportunities? I will also discuss about the what are the opportunities and challenges for tough grass industry. Then uh, what are the recessible issues in tough grass industry? And in last but not least, uh, I will discuss about the uh, we are running the one we are running a certificate course on tough grass management at NAU Navsari. Yes, actually on earth we have 600 to 700 genera of grasses and more than 10,000 species covers 20% area of the earth. But only 45 or less than 45 species we can consider as a tough grass because tough grasses uh, have some special characteristics. They uh, form less, uh, they form a more or less continuous ground cover and persist traffic and moving. This is the ideal characteristic of tough grasses. Uh, this is the definition was given with Turgeon and Turgeon written a very good book, Tough Grass Management, and it is known as the Gita of the tough grass management. Yes, these are the characteristics of uh, ideal tough grasses. Grasses, tough grasses should look uh, always less green and free from fall or bad odor and uh, soft to touch, free from pest and diseases and can tolerate drought and uh, pest and diseases. And can adopt a wide range of climatic conditions. These are the characteristics of uh, ideal tough grasses and should be fast growing and persist regular moving and traffic. And we can divide the uses of tough grasses in three groups. First is utility turf, then sports turf, and uh, lawn turf. In utility turf, uh, for we use tough grasses for stabilization of soil to control the erosion like uh, grasses like centipede grasses and exonopus we can use for this purpose and grasses also helps to enhance the groundwater recharging and uh, also control the floods erosion and uh, also control the noise and air pollution yes and inside the airport we can use only tough grasses other planting materials are not allowed near runways and Tough grasses also, uh, if you use the tough grasses near uh, runways, it stabilizes the dust particles and enhances the edge of the engine of the aircraft. And uh, let's come on the sports ground cover. Tough grass is the unique and cheap cushioning material and protect the players from the injuries. In cricket match, uh, we see the player take the dice and jump, but no injury on the body of the player. It's only because of tough grasses. It provides cushioning. Uh, cheap, it is, it is, you can say it is a cheap cushioning material. Then it reduces injury uh, and uh, it is used in football, cricket, rugby, and so on. Lawn turf. Lawn, we can consider lawn as a heart of the garden. Without lawn, we can't imagine a garden, complete garden. And it uh, enhances the beauty of landscape and it is ex extensively used in public parks, botanical garden, home garden, cemeteries. And today's hectic life, all today's in today's active life, after completion of work, when you sit in the less green lawn, then we feel refreshed us. So it gives freshness in today's hectic life. See, uh, if uh, we grow the tough grasses in 50 by 50 square feet area, it gives enough oxygen for four, mem four family members. Yeah, these are the green roof. And beside these uses, it also increases the value of real estate. In normal, in no 
in in cities in normal bungalows if we purchase then we have to pay the amount suppose 1 crore then if we purchase the same house in any golf course then we have to purchase at least two times money so we can say it in increases the value of real estate and right now it is a part of uh, modern uh, township planning or society planning these are the parts of uh, grasses uh, we can categorize the grasses in two major group according to climatic conditions cool season grasses and warm season grasses cool season grasses uh, require 16 to 24 degrees celsius temperature uh, and uh, generally grows in temperate states but we can also grow this grass in tamil nadu in uti where its temperature remains low these are tall fescue fine fescue rye grass kentucky blue grass and bent grass these are the examples of cool season grasses in warm season grasses needs 27 to grasses uh, barbuda grass is widely grown in our country and uh, this common common barbuda grass hybrid barbuda grass centipede grass joycea grass saint augustine grass and seesaw passolum these are the important grasses uh, are grown in our country and generally in northern plains and southern part of our country these grasses grown first one is common bermuda grass this is the widely grown in our country and is resistant to drought it loves sun if we grow this grass in a shady area then it become lanky and deteriorate the quality of the turf then it has a deep root system with long rhizomes and stolon it because of its fast growth habit it requires frequent moving and it uh, resistant to traffic and moving and it is a heavy thatch producer and selection one and kolkata dub are the two best varieties of uh, bermuda grass and selection one has fine texture but uh, uh, not so dark and kolkata dub has a dark green color but coarse coarse texture and hardier next one is hybrid bermuda grass all these uh, developed by the crossing of uh, sandon dactylon and sidon transvalensis tif tif way 419 tif dwar tif green tif eagle these are the examples of hybrid bermuda grasses and all these grasses give superior functional quality that's why these grasses are uh, these grasses are used in uh, the very important part of the grasses like in golf courses these are used in uh, golf green golf green is known as heart of golf courses because it's a very important part of golf course and these grasses developed by georgia university of usa and georgia university is known as makka of tough grasses next one is axonopus uh, compressus and it is uh, freely it has freely stoniferous nature and coarse texture and we can grow this grass near irrigation channels or where high humidity and it also helps to control the erosion and leaves of this grass you can see the, it has uh, broader leaves broader leaves and it requires uh, sandy conditions to thrive and species adapted to wet moist sandy acidic soil with low fertility it require very low maintenance and uh, it's also used for soil stabilization on steep slopes and if uh, any sandy place we can use this grass or any rough areas we can use this grass where very low maintenance required next one is joycea it can tolerate uh, moderate shade and cold it is medium texture grass dark green color propagation through stolons and rhizomes require very less fertilization and uh, its growth is very slow and require less moving generally it is used uh, Uh, as a lawn grass in our house home next one is centipede grass uh, see the looks like centipede and uh, it is very slow growing in nature and co- has coarse texture and adapted to low maintenance situations and stoloniferous with uh, no rhizomes and uh, requires low moving or less fertilizers it doesn't tolerate traffic and well adapted to sandy acidic soil of low fertility it can tolerate drought and cold and uh, requires very low maintenance 
Next one is St. Augustine grass. It is also broadleaf grass and see the point of this grass is just like uh, uh, looks like a spoon. And uh, we can also grow this grass under semi side conditions and it uh, also helps us to uh, for checking the erosion and uh, in areas under the trees or areas having shade or uh, areas where a need of very low maintenance, then we can use this grass. Next one is Paspalum uh, Vaginatum. This grass can tolerate the uh, salt and uh, in our country we have approximate 7000 kilometer coastal line and uh, 6.73 million hectare land affected from the salt. So this grass is best for uh, saline condition. If you have saline water then we can grow this grass. It is best among all the grasses for sanity problem area, problematic area. It has coarse texture and uh, very hardy and it has deep roots root system. Let's come on the cool season grasses. This is the perennial dry grass. It is known as lolium, and uh, it's uh, see its point is uh, it is pointed. It has pointed leaf tip with uh, shiny back sides, and it is bunch type growth habit. And because of rapid germination and establishment, is it, it is used in overseeding. Overseeding means uh, in uh, northern plains uh, when the temperature goes very, when the temperature goes very low, when temperature goes uh, below 10 degrees Celsius, then uh, warm season grasses looks uh, brown. So in this case, we can use this uh, temperate grasses, cool season grass. As a wintering, so in winter it come up and then dry again. The temperature rise in February March. Then uh, again, cynodon dactylon come up. Next one is creeping bent grass. This is also a cool season grass, highly stoniferous in nature and poor tolerance to wear and tear. Requires high maintenance. So that's why it is used in major part of the golf golf course, uh, golf green. Next one is Kentucky bluegrass. It's the highly stoniferous in nature. It has pointed tip and uh, used in golf green prove high quality putting surface require a lot of care. Other grasses, tall fescue, red fescue in cool season group. Let's come on the facts of Indian turf industry. So Indian Golf Association, Indian Nursery Association, GCS and MI, IGIU, Indian Golf Union, these are the organizations involved in turf industry. And uh, in our country, we have more than 30,000 acre area in turf grass. Among of it, more than 6,000 acre comes under soil production. Soil production is turf production, cultivation of turf. Then, uh, yes, Ganu Farm is the largest soil producer and supplier of India having more than 400 acre area under high quality turf grass production. And Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Maharashtra are the leading states in short production. The total number of international cricket grounds in our country are 50 and 8 cricket grounds are under construction. And uh, more than 520 domestic cricket grounds and numerous athletic fields are also in operation. And if you see the growth rate of turf industry is 10% annually in our country. And yes, the landscape business contributes approximately 2% of total construction area or real estate. And turf has 50 to 80% of it. See any garden or any landscape area, turf contributes 50 to 80% of it. And now in modern planning of the societies or any project, uh, Landscaping is an integral part of it. So let's, these are the facts about the vib vibrant Indian golf industry. Golf courses are the heartbeat of turf grass industry worldwide and comprises 40% of total turf grass chemicals and services uses. And in our country, we have uh, more than 255 golf courses, among of it, 25% courses comes under the defense.
and uh, mostly golf courses are concentrated around the metro cities like delhi ncr gad bangalore pune and gujarat golf courses and uh, courses under construction yes and uh, established in 1829 golf course of our country the royal calcutta and uh, tea gardens so developed some courses now as boutique uh let's golf courses of the country uh, this is panchkula go haryana in soft top grasses in golf beautiful is maintaining very dl dlw golf is plant nilgiri without disturbance of flora and fauna established the course the plantation course the nilgiri golf meadows punjab Belodor Golf Course, Gujarat, Ahmedabad. Is Chandigarh Golf Academy, Chandigarh. SB Links, Chhattisgarh. The structures of uh, prepared by Saint Pitt eh, is known as bunkers. The Delhi Golf Club, New Delhi. Classic Golf Resort. The JP Greens. yes let's uh, come on how to prepare the field for turf establishment first of all do one deep plowing and then uh, use uh, cultivators and then do leveling if we are bringing the foreign material it should be weed free then irrigate it then uh, many weeds come out so control them them through glyphosate one two times and com- completely kill the weeds and do leveling through laser leveler and generally we use media soil and organic matter but if you use more sand in turf field it gives very good result let's come on the turf establishment methods these are the techniques through we can establish the turf we can do planting seeding dibbling turfing turf plastering hydro seeding astroturfing astroturfing means plastic lawn it is known as astroturfing eh? synthetic turf it is available in 80 to 100 rupees per square feet in the market and once we plant then enjoy 8 year 10 years no maintenance in shade or anywhere we can uh, plant it seeding it means propagation of lawn grasses or turf through seeds generally 20 to 25 kg seeds required for one hectare area and if we grow in large acres then uh, seeders are available okay. and uh, time of sowing is very important generally for warm season grasses spring is best and for uh, cool season gar- uh, cool season grasses late summer or early fall is the best time of sowing is advantages um, more grass types and varieties are available in seeds and we can purchase material from any country to post we can bring the material through parcel through seeds easily and stronger initial root establishment in this method and this advantage initial establishment takes longer time and time of seeding is limited mainly at the time when soil temperature reaches at optimum level and constant moisture required at initial time because whole area is just like nursery so it requires lot of care these are the seeders for seeding these are the turf seeders next method is dibbling it is mature roots or untreated grass cuttings are obtained from a close cut lawn and dipped in ground at 7 to 10 cm apart sprigging yes sprigging uh, when the stolons is spread on the surface is then this process is known as stolonizing and uh, maintain the proper moisture after it and uh, in uh, placing the stolons in narrow furrow is spaced 50 to 20 cm is known as sprigging yes 
these are the stolons stolonization spreading of stolons on the leveled field next turfing or sodding this is the quickest but expensive method of planting of turf grass the whole pieces of turf grass is in equally size uh, removed from the sod field and then uh, placed in the uh, placed in the already leveled field so contact of this material and uh, soil should be very clear otherwise if uh, air remains then after some time it looks very patchy so take care of the contact between turf piece and then the land it is very costly method advantages rapid establishment loan if we we can establish loan in 2 3 days very fast in this method this advantage very expensive and less less selection or control over the kinds of grasses installed yeah you can see the sod field and uh, the person is cutting the sod making the piece of 2 by 1 feet this is sod cutter is sodding yes next dust plasting celery is prepared by garden soil fresh cow dung and water and chopped pieces of roots and stems are mixed and then uh, spread over the prepared land and it is it gives good response in only in rainy season then let's come on the hydro seeding hydro seeding when we wish to establish uh, turf field in large area then we can go towards hydro seeding uh, in this method in a tank uh, mix the seeds fertilizers and uh, synthetic mulch and then spray on the areas where we want to establish turf and in undulant area or large areas we can follow this method see the hydro seeding yes we mix seed fiber mulch water and fertilizer in a tank and good for undulated and hilly areas advantage rapid sprouting growth of seeds and prevention of the soil erosion quick method and very effective for hilly sites and sloped lawns in erosion control this advantage is more susceptible to drought and require lot of care because uh, it has a large all the area all the area just like nursery so require optimum moisture at all the places and just like all the area just like nursery so require lot of care as to turfing we discussed it the synthetic turf available in 80 to 100 rupees per square feet in the market yes uh, this is the gallery of my house and uh, i made combination of wooden tile and turf synthetic turf at my home advantages high quality and consistent surface no irrigation fertilizers and maintenance require and we can once we plant once we establish it and then enjoy 7 to 8 years but this one this advantage initial cost is very high and require replacement after 8 years or 10 years new turf care rolling rolling is a practice make contacts of uh, positive top part of the turf to the soil and uh, establish uh, and make and uh, fast establishment we can see through after rolling moving it is also important practice irrigation weed controls irrigation generally 2 to 3 mm water is required for turf it depends on the soil condition and agroclimatic conditions these are the pop ups fertilizers uh, if we add neem cake it initially at the before the establishment loan it gives very good result neem cake well decomposed fim it should but the fim should be free from uh, weeds yes always cut the one third leaves of the loan during moving and moving defends uh, depends on our purpose in case of golf green generally we maintain uh, 
5 mm height of the lawn. These are the moving pattern. Eh? Grass blades tend to learn in the direction of the moving. These are pattern should move at different angles and times the tough grass is moved. These are the patterns we can see the cricket grounds. If we move continuous in a particular direction, then we can get these patterns. These are the movers, real mover and rotary mover. Rotary mover is generally used in uh, undulate land. These are the vertic vertic cutting. Vertic cutting is very uh, in in vertic cutter. Uh, one soft having needs uh, news is used and it makes small holes in the soil and it uh, improves the aeration and water use efficiency in fertilizer use efficiency in the soil generally it is done in march month or after rains these are the rolling we discussed this is the roller pouring after some time, turf field become very hard because of uh, thatch and uh, compactness. So required coring. Coring means making small small holes in the turf field. So it improves aeration, water use efficiency. This is coring machine, and after uh, coring, we can. Fill this uh, small pit through neem cake and uh, sand and fertilizers. These are a two two type uh, coring machines available for with vertical motion and circular motion. Advantage of coring uh, it manages thatch control the thatch thatch is uh, material uh, composed or you can see the uh, organic matter on the surface or the soil and uh, it uh, it creates problems in aeration and uh, water use efficiency and fertilizer use efficiency so removing the is very important practice then it reduce uh, compaction increase gas action enhance water infiltration infiltration and then improve root growth provides ideal environment for seed germination spiking in a small area we can make small holes through spike Weed management at the time initial establishment of uh, turf control the weeds and uh, standing lawn we can control the weeds through uh, 240 glyphosate or made sulfur and methyl. In uh, Cypress rotunda is the most noxious weed of the world and generally it is found in lawn. So in case of uh, high infestation we we can control uh, pest. The high concept of glyphosate on particular plant of Cypress rotundus. I can and other weed sites are also available in market Jura and uh, other weed sites. And beside made sulfur, uh, beside uh, Cypress rotundus, all the broad leaves weed can be controlled by made sulfur and methyl. It is very cheap and uh, available in market and very effective weed site. Beside uh, narrow leaves, narrow leaves weed, all the weeds can be controlled through. Met sulfur and methyl. It requires in eight eight gram met sulfur and methyl in hundred liter water and then spray in the lawn. But uh, field should be moisture free up to ten days at least. It works very good. These are the pests uh, found in the turf grass, termite and uh, white grub. These are the major insects. So, in case of termite, we can see the patches and then. Uh, we can control the termite through chloropyrifos to uh, drench the chloropyrifos 2 ml per liter and we can control then white grub white grub is also serious pest of turf grass and generally it uh, attacks in summer it hide in below the soil and uh, how to check this you can if, if we see the patches in turf grasses and we can also see the blocks of uh, birds the favorite uh, food of uh, birds so if we see the flocks of the bird, then check it and uh, dig. If we see the white grub, then we can control through chloropyrifos. These are the common tough grass diseases. 
uh, fairy rings you can see the uh, uh, brown patches in the rings or green growth and then mushroom also grow in these uh, rings so we can this is fungal disease we can control through uh, systematic fungicides then um, dollar spot is also disease we can control through systematic fungicide that the fairy rings you can see in this slide the dollar spot bliss door blighted areas of the turf with silver color and size of dollar appears initially which further may merge into large area and can be controlled through coc and propica journal you know. uh, these are the sod fields turf field these are the pieces ready for transportation generally 2 by 1 fit pieces are available in market and uh, this is uh, money spinning money spinner business turf production and a farmer can earn 4 to 5 lakhs easily in one hectare area and after removal of uh, we can farmers can farmer can take production uh, at least two times in a year once we grow then take retums and make handsome money this is sort field yes opportunities in this sector as uh, high demand of ground superintendent eh, in golf course at uh, athletic fields recreational grounds and uh, job like representative lawn care operator architect landscape designer and many more and allied industries like uh, development of allied industries in agrochemical industry equipments and machineries landscaping gardening seed industry plant production services india and uh, india and sports yes we know our country is now the youngest town very um, we have maximum population population of youth in our country and youth and sports both have positive correlation so uh, huge or many grounds are coming up in our country so we can uh, we can say the future of turf industry is very bright in our country and uh, yes many grounds like coming up just like mushroom in our country yes and bcci the richest cricket uh, club of the world these are the institutes working on turf grasses constants in development of turf industry first is no government support till now and uh, research is in nascent stage and lack of indigenous variety because we are using the, all the varieties uh, uh, in golf courses we are uh, purchasing from outside eh? all the exotic varieties and they require lot of maintenance fertilizers water if we use our indigenous variety then we can save the labor and money fertilizers all things so this is the need of our and uh, lack of knowledge about the science and most of technology and support is we are importing these are the priority issues in turf grass research first is standardization of fertilizers water weed management in existing and new lawn areas because uh, research our research is at nascent stage in this field then evolution of turf grasses for root growth in other components in area specific evolution the development of local turf grass varieties require very less water because uh, see water requirement is very high in uh, golf courses if uh, a nine holes 18 holes at nine hole golf course require approximate 5 to 6 lake, lake liters waters per day and uh, in summer we can see in news channels and uh, medias and newspapers uh, long line behind the tankers for quenching the thirst of the people and uh, these golf courses are using 6 lakh 8 lakh 8 lakh liter water per day so if we use our if we develop our indigenous variety require very less water it is good for us and we can then we can quench the thirst of thousands of people the development of stress tolerant varieties evolution of trait suitable for sports grounds and evolution of various species for different situations and purpose then research emphasis on seed production and strategies strategies these are the selected turf and turf related occupations we discussed earlier 
there are the turf seeds we import these are the different uh, lawn movers is remote mower there are the different green movers fairway movers rough movers career opportunities we have discussed um, turf experts are in huge demand in our country uh, looking to the need of uh, such expert we started one certificate course in turf grass management at uh, navsari agriculture university this video let me just start production this is short field and this is short cut how to make the pieces of the cut these are the myself and uh, our students of our certificate course in turf grass management you can see in this Here now, sorry, we have one village. Is uh, many tough fields. Right, there are thirty percent of tough fields. There are tough fields to Pune and other cities of the country. See, for our students, uh, see this X has a two feet hand, wooden hand. So they are cutting. Handle of X is two feet, and uh, width is fixed, one feet. So this is making two by one feet of grasses. Next, yeah, this is the course we started at Navsari Agricultural University in two thousand fifteen. Started with course in tough grass management, and uh, this is we started first time in country. Uh, such type course and in this course uh, we impart training to participant one and half months lectures at nau navsari campus and remaining one and half months uh, field training different uh, locations of the country golf courses and any other uh, sports field yes uh, this is a visit of amdavad uh, golf course with certificate course students and faculties and uh, we made agreements with uh, many industries involved in turf like machine related to machinery golf courses sports field we made tied up tie up with uh, many associations and started the course this is the first trial of turf conducted my my students roshni agnithur is right now she is assistant professor in central agriculture university and uh, this is the course st structure at a glance uh, there are the course titles introduction then soil management turf management water management nutrient management turf maintenance pest and disease then project economics field training so one and half months first one and half months we provide training to students at nau and um, experts from across the nation come and impart training to students and remaining one and half months we sent to students different golf courses in j and k and we also may tied up we also may tie up with uh, kodaikanal golf course and one golf course uti i think one golf course in uti so and uh, see the uh, one of our student asap memon established uh, his firm in amdavad saaj creation and he is uh, giving opportunity uh, job to two horticulture project manager supervisor mali you can see in this list and the creation of uh, our student see this is the creation of our student then uh, some students are also working in uti golf course through patel with uh, turf experts at uh, hyderabad let's see then uh, mr ajad resi is working in royal spring golf course srinagar you can see uh, mr rinkal chohan working at khargar valley golf course in mumbai yes uh, before the starting of course we arrange one meeting and design the syllabus of certificate course of turf grass management uh, actually we have taken from the the course material from universities or institute uh, imparting training abroad so we made it 
with our agroclimatic conditions match it and then prepare it with the help of uh, turf expert we invited turf expert expert from the across the nation and designed the course uh, every year we attend uh, golf expo organized by gcs and mi and indian golf union this is the photographs Thank you very much to all of you for your patience.